Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, we got to talk about uh, educators. If you have a brick and mortar centers, basically, um, uh, if you watch the previous video, it's pretty similar. Um, uh, first thing first, I still need to highlight. Uh, whatever I share next, please don't take it as it is because you need to study my strategy first and understand the concept behind how we think, how we plan, and then put in your own thinking on how to use our strategy to improve your current business model. And how to how to tweak it, okay? Because each business is different, the niche is different, your offer is different, your capability is different, uh, your situation is different. So, so I need to cover from startup to those who are established. Uh, so the strategies you you might need to do some thinking a little bit. Uh, if you're really stuck, please ask in the Facebook group or you can private message me, private message me if you are the private clients. And please watch a few times until you get it. And uh, I do have people watch to like two to three months every single time just to sing everything into their head. <laughs> and uh, he's making about half a million after he's doing that. Every successful marketing is well prepared and well planned. I talk about this many times before you run any ads. So let's jump into the meat right now. So let's jump into the marketing strategies. Um, if you watch previous video, I think it's pretty similar. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. So you just have to decide what kind of hook that you want to do. And then you want to use to convince the audience. And then we just well, put the content into the page that we want. Okay. So page like this, but, uh, this one we'll talk about this later. I have templates for you to, to, to do it. So don't worry. So. What do you offer? So usually how we plan is what do we offer? Memory class, maths class, dancing class. Who is the target audience? Adults, children or in parents or both. And then the marketing angle is okay. I'll just tell them what I have, but uh, this is a copywriting skills, but we shall teach in the, the next, uh, modules. Okay. But basically if I offer memory class, then I'll just uh, angle in such a how to improve your memory skill in your career for adults, how to improve your child memory with ABC memory methods. So these are, these are the message that usually I will put in here, uh, which I will share with you how to come up with this content using my templates after this. Okay. But for now, it's just an overview for you to have a look first. And then whether I want to use the trial class, whether you want to use the assessment or whether I need to use the preview. Trial class, pretty straightforward. I think this one they use assessment. Let me see. So this one is assessment. Um, then this one, I think it's they use trial class. This one is science class, STEM and science class. Uh, this one they are using, um, this one they didn't say, but I think this is trial class. Okay. Uh, preschool, I think also this one preschool. Okay. Preschool program. And uh, this one also they are using trial class is the mistake uh, register for uh, they didn't say but actually it's they are doing trial class also actually anyway yeah so so you basically get what i mean okay so whether you want to do it online or offline so if you have physical center mostly you're doing on uh, offline so it goes back to uh but before that uh, i want to talk about the funnels a little bit right so if, if you are targeting adults and children, so usually we separate law because uh we how do we do this? We have a funnel just for adults. Okay, and we have a funnel just for the children. Because why? Usually in a page like this, right? If you are targeting the adults, and then all the message here is for your child. <laughs> Okay, your child and then kids photo, kids video, kids photo. Do you think the adult will sign up? No, right? And similarly, when you want to aim for, uh, when you want to aim for children, and if you, if you try to, because some people are lazy, you know, they never done this before, they think it's too much work, and then they just do the lazy way. So they end up, or they have mixture of everything here. So now my question to you is that, when you are down and then you see a mixture of things or you see only children class, do you, do you, will you join? You won't join because it's, it's really not congruent. Your message, you have to understand the problem that adult face is different. 
Let's say, for example, you offer memory class or English class for adult. What adult want is different. What the children want is different. What the parents want is also different. So that's the reason why we need to have a two set, two separate funnels, uh, two separate funnels to to sell to do different, uh, to sell to do different uh audience. One funnel just for adults. One funnel just for children. You cannot have, uh, both of them in just one class. You never. It will never work. Okay, you will never work because the message is just too unclear. Let's say, for example, you go to Starbucks, okay, and then Starbucks they are actually selling coffee, right? And then suddenly you go to a Starbucks that actually they sell coffees, they also sell uh some snacks. Uh, sorry, they probably sell some uh what what else uh some uh some yogurt uh yogurt yeah probably yogurt because they are specialized in coffee, right? And suddenly everything inside is a mixture of yogurt and then coffee. And then you walk inside. So it's no longer have the branding. You lose the branding. You lose the professionalism. And then people will think you, you're not pro anymore. So, so that's actually what I mean. Okay. So that's how we plan. That's how we plan. And then if you are Taekwondo, pretty straightforward. Adult or children's. Taekwondo class for adults. Taekwondo class for children. This is just a messaging that marketing angle got aim. And I convinced them to trial class. Pretty, I think pretty clear. And then now the medium is, you, you cannot be doing Taekwondo class or swimming class online, right? Doesn't make sense, right? So this is the, this is actually what we need to be careful over here. But if you manage to do that, then congrats. If it works, congrats. Then perhaps you can share with me, then we can discuss more. Okay. But you get what I mean. Um, preschool, pretty straightforward. Um, Preschool, of course, for the children, right? So, but we want to aim for the parents. Then, marketing message is preschool program intake for what year? I provide them trial class. And we cannot be online. It can be online, but most of them, they want to send their kids to, to preschool is because they want to have physical activities, experience, and all these things, right? But, of course, during the pandemic, you have to be online, no choice. So, this is actually how we plan. So, things here, it's... um. Uh, this is actually how we think. So again, how to increase the effectiveness of the trial, uh, assessment, preview so that I can take more clients. If you can only do offline, then you have to start in the direction that can I increase the number of trials? Can I increase the size of the trial? Do I need to train my staff or teachers uh, to teach them how to handle multiple people at the same time? Or can I... Can I can I think how do I restructure my trial process or assessment process so that I can deal with multiple people at the same time? If can, how to do it? If cannot, then if is it really cannot or you just stop? Okay, so it might take time for you to improve because you can observe your competitor how to do it, and then just improve from there. So. That's the direction I can send it to you. As long as you understand how we think, how we plan, then you will know how to adopt it and plan it back into your business. That's my main goal in these uh, videos. So, um, scalable program structures, how to actually, uh, this one I think is for, not educators, but educators. Uh, great. How to structure a program that can take in more clients. I already talked about this many times. This direction to think how to teach more students using the same resources. Um, or less and how do I support my clients without losing much of the qualities so what kind of support that you can do okay and uh, whether it's a loop intake if you can only do physical class can I do loop intake instead of batch can I do group class instead of one-to-one -one? if yes how to do okay <coughs> do I need more teachers or do I need more time slots or can I train one teachers Instead of one teacher handle one student, or can I start brainstorming my modules? Can I can one teacher handle five students at the same time? That actually will increase the profitability, right? Can you see that? Right? So one to one teaching versus group teachings, virtual, online, face to face, or hybrid. Okay. So these are the things that you need to look at it. And I want to go back here. Um there are some centers that actually they offer multiple programs. Nothing wrong. Eh? So there are centers usually have a few logos. 
so go back to the same. If you uh you have offering like art class and then you have memory class, then you have you need to have two separate funnels. <coughs> okay, because art class doesn't make sense with taekwondo class or or whatever class. So you have to have separate funnels just to market the art class, and a separate funnel just to market the music class or the additional class that you have. So the another pointer I want to throw it to you is that if you have multiple program with the same, if it if it really in the same line means that dancing, then you offer hip hop dance, balance, it still makes sense, you know. But some people they are offering memory class and then they are teaching art class. So or tuition class, then they offer dancing class. It really doesn't make sense, you know. But as long as you make money, you're happy with it. Uh, I'm, I'll just leave it to you. But the pointers I want to throw it to you is that do you think that um, by doing this multiple program at the same time, uh, people would you, you, because people would think okay, the more program I teach, the more money I will make. Okay, the more program, I will, so they'll they'll add on, so they so end up their their center have so many programs, and then they tell everyone I can do many things. And then they will think uh, it increase the profitability. But in return, I want to throw back the question to you. Do you think that by doing so many programs in one center, how do people see uh, when they look at it? Because there's just, there are no focus. You tell me you can do this, you tell me you can do that. Are you really like that? Think about Starbucks. Starbucks, everywhere you go, it's just coffee. That's it. So certainly Starbucks, become coffee and then they have yogurt and a bubble tea. Do you think that you become Starbucks and do you think that people will start going to your Starbucks? Because it suddenly become like night market, <laughs> okay? Or grocery store where you have everything there. You get what I mean, right? So the professionalisms, the brandings, so that is something that you need to think about. So the key thing is not really about the more program I teach, the more I make. The, the key thing actually is how do I make one program and I think in the direction it's how do I increase the effectiveness of trial, how to increase the frequency, how to increase the size so that I can make more money and I can stay to my branding. I still become the professionals that I have, a Starbucks that I have, but how do I tweak the business model? That is something that I want to highlight, okay? So scalable program structures like I already mentioned just now, how to take more students, okay? And uh, profit maxim maximizing structure, how to take more cash. Uh, as per last videos, uh, you can actually give them candy if they pay on the spot or within 24 hours. Okay. Perhaps actually you can mark up the price. Let's say uh, usual price is 200. But if you are willing to pay within 24 hours, I can give you 150. Okay. Then you can... You can you can also take in management three minim, sorry minimum three months package or six months or twelve months instead of money package. Um, some will just stick to money. It's up to you. But I'm just sharing you some idea how to do it. Single object. If let's say for example there are some centers they are actually providing maths and English, so you can upsell to the other programs because it's, it comes together. This one is the same upsell and. Uh, and then ask them if there are other students to refer and then give them referral fees. You just tell them, just be friend with them and then tell them, tell their parents and you have other parents, friends, right? Then I can recommend to come in, then I can give you one additional class for free. Or the next month class is for free. <laughs> okay. If they sign up, if they sign up. Okay. So then uh some of you can also plan something like this. Okay. Some probably are already doing this, but some are not doing this. But this is the first time you hear this kind of concept. So, uh, different events in different seasons. So usually this is a business. Business usually they have four seasons or so. So usually if your programs can last, like if let's say taekwondo or swimming class, actually there's no seasons. But let's say for example you have preschool. Usually preschool the enrollment will be on, uh, end of year and start of the year because the class will start at the beginning of the year, right? So usually the enrollment will start here. So then, then once they get enough students here, then usually during these three seasons, there's nothing to do. Because there's just preschool. 
But usually how I advise people to do is that because if you try to market your preschool program over here, it's pre preschool, right? If you try to market your preschool program here, it's pretty tough for you to, to get students here because they already enroll in they already fully enrolled in other class, in other centers, in other class, in other preschool, whatever it is. So usually your student intake over here it's zero. Most likely it's zero. Okay? Most likely it's very little chances you can get students over here. So now, how do I I will start thinking in such a way? If I'm the one who runs the preschool, how can I still plan my business in such a way that I can um what I call, I can still make money during this period. Okay, this is actually where I will start to think, can I offer any enrichment class from the existing preschool module? Like let's say for example, you teach the preschool about uh, what I call some drawing class. So can I do something, offer a, a, a holiday class over here? Then I, so I still have existing students who are paying me every month or every quarter. At the same time, if I'm willing to do an extra funnels, let's say for example, this funnel is preschool and intake. Okay. And then I have another funnel just to market other things that I already have in my centers. Don't know, regardless, whatever program it is, enrichment class, memory class, abacus class. Now, can I plan this here so that I can make more money or I can plan this every month? I can also make money from here. So that is depends on how you arrange your space, your logistics, your teachers, your time, and see whether you can do it. But some people, they're already happy with if their students are full class, then they'll just do it on a normal basis. That's it. And then they just focus on opening a new centers, opening a new center, opening new centers. That's it. So that's how they do it. But you have only one center, so you want to increase your profit. Can I plan something like this? It might. You might be able to do it, you might not be able to do it because I do not know which level are you in right now, how established you are. Do you have everything systemized or you just a startup? You don't even know what is going on yet. Okay? So but the key idea is how to think, how to plan, how to maximize it, how to do more with less. But I still can support my students. How? Okay? So I already give you a lot of directions. You can watch back the videos and then start thinking in the directions and then start planning about it and uh, once you have a clear clarity about how you want to play the game okay like i said everything is well prepared and well planned right how you already well planned then when it comes to the modules later okay then the easiest for you to do because everything is just all the <coughs> things at the back is just follow your strategy over here that's it okay and since i'm here actually i want to show you uh these things you see that since there's a Chinese versions. Okay. Everything has become Chinese because they want to aim the Chinese audience is that. And then they also have a Malay version. So that they have another funnel just to aim for Malay. And then this one is Malay students, is that? So that's how smart we are playing the game. So everything is well prepared and well planned. We are not just doing the things for the sake of doing it because KC asked to do this. And I just follow what Casey said and said, but you didn't even know what exactly we planned. <laughs> said, okay, so so that's actually what I want to highlight, and uh, and I'll see you in the next video.